Good morning, Capricorn. My name is Renee, and this is your love reading for December. Now, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Okay, Capricorn, what do we have for Capricorn in December? I love reading for Capricorn, please. What is Capricorn dealing with in December? Okay, we have perseverance. Yeah, I see that you're seeing something through to the end. You're sticking in there. Confusion. And we have gossip. Okay, so Capricorn, we also have creation. So I really feel like you're being strong, Capricorn. I feel like you are hanging in there. Um, I feel like you're very confused at the moment. I feel like people are talking about you. Um, they may be gossiping about you, about a certain situation. Um, But I feel like you're strong. I feel like you're enduring, you're holding on. What else do we have for Capricorn? Give us some cards for Capricorn for December and love. Bearing fruit. Okay. And we also have let it go. Capricorn, I feel like you're letting go of something that you know isn't good for you any longer. And because you're doing that, something new is coming in. When we let go of something, it makes room for something new to come through. And that's what I feel like you're doing. I feel like you're tired of feeling a certain way. And I feel like you are just fin finally making the decision. Um, I'm really seeing the judgments because I, I feel like people are judging you. But not only that, I feel like you are making a final decision about something you are ready to call it quits you're ready to have it done and over with i feel like you're ready to have a rebirth to renew yeah you're making a powerful move capricorn i feel like You're making a move that don't nobody realize you have the strength to do. And I feel like you're doing that because you're soul searching. You're going deep within. I feel like you're, you're, you have been really thinking about how you want the future to look. Um, what people you want in your future. I feel like you're looking at all of that. I feel like you know exactly where you want to be you know exactly what kind of person you want to be with and i feel like you're finally setting that into stone i feel like you're finally making that final decision that this is what i deserve i don't deserve any less that's what i'm feeling for you capricorn beautiful energy let's see you know what? I'm going to take that angel card for you because I want to see what the angels have to say about your situation. See what the angels have to say about your situation. Ooh. Angels, guides, what do we have for Capricorn? Love reading for December. What messages do we have for Capricorn, please? What messages for Capricorn? 
Okay, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming into your family. Yeah, so I feel like whatever move that you're making, it's going to be a happy one. I feel like maybe the person that you're seeing or maybe the person that you're going to meet is going to have children or maybe you have children and you're going to blend those families. But something's going to be added to your family that's going to bring you happiness. Very interesting. What else do we have? Okay. You have Ariel. Now psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. Yeah, cool. so Spirit is letting you know that they want to talk with you. They want you to meditate on the situation. They want you to pray about exactly what it is you want. Send your prayer to your angels, your guides, your higher power, whatever it is you, you believe in. And your angels will answer you. Um, they may answer you in a dream or they may answer you in real life. But they want to help. And you have Vanessa at the bottom. To make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me close? to my divine purpose which way takes me away from it hmm let me repeat that to you to make your decision ask yourself which way brings me closest to my divine purpose which way takes me away from it? Very interesting, Capricorn. I feel like they really want to provide you with the answers. Um, I would really consider meditating in a quiet space and focusing on your intentions. Um, because I feel like your guides, the higher power, whatever it is you believe in, they really want you to come to them and kind of lean on them for guidance. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, you have, wow, okay. We, you have the Justice card. You have the Two of Pentacles. You have the Hermits. What else do we have for Capricorn? What else do we have for Capricorn, please? For love reading for December. What's coming for Capricorn? The judgment. That's exactly what I was feeling. I was feeling the judgment card while I was pulling those cards because I feel like you need to make a final decision. I feel like you are kind of at the end of your rope. I feel like you're really yearning for a new beginning, for a rebirth in your situation. Okay, what else do we have for Capricorn? Ooh, okay, yeah. The Eight of Pentacles in the Tower. We have the King of Wands. And we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, at the bottom you also have the King of Cups. So yeah, I feel like... If you're not already in a relationship, Sagittarius, I feel like this is someone new. Someone very unexpected coming through at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is something that you don't see yet. Um, what I feel like is this person is coming to bring you 
something that you haven't felt in a while. Um, they're coming to bring you stability. They're coming to bring you support. They're coming to feel how you feel. They, uh, they want to make you feel better, is what I'm trying to say. They want you in your best light. And I apologize for my phone going off. Okay. We have the Justice card and the Two of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like you've put in so much. You've sacrificed so much, Capricorn. I, I really feel like you've given it all you've got. And this could also be a Libra that's coming in for you. But I feel like this is something that you worked very hard for. This is your karma coming back around. This is your reward. And I feel like this is what you've been balancing. This is your priorities being set straight. This is you needing to make a final choice on the situation. Now you also have the Hermit and the Judgment. So with the Hermit card, I feel like you are, you have really been soul searching because you've been soul searching because you're feeling so much weight you're feeling so much strain so much stress you're really wanting to gain a higher knowledge from a higher power and I feel like I feel like what you want most is to be true to yourself. I feel like that's what you want the most is for you to be able to be true to yourself. That's the reason why you are yearning for this judgment. And I feel like the judgment is coming in. I feel like your higher powers are coming through to bring you this new beginning after letting something go. And remember, we had to let it go in order to bear fruit. And that's exactly what I'm feeling. And that's going to end your confusion. That's going to end all the gossip. Because it may be that you need to let people go around you that are gossiping and I'm, I'm really feeling like these are family and friends these are people that you know these are people that you trust who are gossiping and who are putting you in the situation of confusion and I feel like maybe it's time well I don't feel like maybe it's time I feel like it is time in order for you to gain some relief in this situation you need to make some decisions on who to let into your energy who to let around you that's not going to devour your energy and just want more than what you can bring to the table. And that's how I'm feeling with this Eight of Pentacles in this tower. I feel like you're bringing so much to the table here, but you're not feeling any gratitude for it. I feel like all you want is freedom. Now, this tower is crumbling, but it has no doors. There's no doors on this tower, so there's no way to get out. The only way for them to get out is to jump. And that is their source of freedom. That is what's going to free them from their bondage. And I feel like that's what you're going through at the moment, Capricorn. But you do have relief. You do have someone here who has creative options, who has, uh, who is bold enough to stand up for you, who is courageous enough to take on any beast for you. 
And I feel like that is this King of Wands here. And I feel like this person is going to come up and they're going to stick up for you. I feel like they're going to stand up for your honor. They are going to speak up and let someone know that they need to shut their mouth and stop talking about Capricorn. Because you are someone very special, Capricorn. And you deserve happiness and contentment. You deserve all that you need. And I feel like that's coming. I feel like this person who's going to stand up for you is the person who wants to come towards you. If they haven't already. If they haven't already come towards you, I feel like this person who is standing up for you is going to make a move. Or you make a, may make a move on them because they're standing up for you. Because they are guarding your heart from any pain. I feel like with this person, you feel protected. I feel like with this person, you feel a bold power about them. The King of Wands, he's the closest to the Emperor energy. He's the closest to the emperor energy because he's a he's a true entrepreneur. He's very bold and courageous. He's very powerful. And he's also very charming. He's a true leader. So that's who I feel like is coming into your life, Capricorn. What else do we have for Capricorn in love? What else do we have? Give me another message for Capricorn. What would be the outcome for Capricorn? What would be the outcome for Capricorn? Yeah, the Ace of Wands. A fiery, passionate new beginning. Something filled with strength and hope and fire. Something to inspire you. Again, that's what I feel. This is total inspiration for you, Capricorn. Yeah, you have the King of Pentacles. Okay. So this person who's coming in, they're also very resource resourceful. They're also very practical. They're also down to earth. Um, this also may be a good provider. They also may be... Um, may have money. They may be wealthy. They may own their own business. This may be a boss. Yeah, you have the Four of Cups. Yeah, so I think Spirit is letting you know not to let this opportunity pass you by. Um, it really wants you to be attentive. Pay attention. Pay attention to the people who have your back and the people who don't. Yeah, you have the Three of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like... You know what, Capricorn? I feel like you doubt that a person like this exists. I feel like you've been heartbroken in the past. I feel like you are reluctant to make a stand forward. It may be the reason why people are gossiping because of something that you've just recently been through. Or maybe you're not totally out of the situation and that's what's bringing the gossip. But I feel like Whatever's coming is going to come, regardless. This person is here. This person is making a stand. The Knight of Wands, they're not going to back down. And they want something very passionate with you. They want to ignite and a fire back within you. You have the Hermit card again. So, yeah, 
what you don't see on the bottom. What you need to focus on, what you need to notice. Um, you go deep within for the answers. Tap into your spiritual side. Prayer, meditation. You are the star in his lantern, Capricorn. I feel like this person sees you as, as a star. They see you as their guiding light. They see you as someone that can build something with that they dream of. You're this person's dream, Capricorn, whether you know it or not. This person has been soul searching for you just as much as you've been soul searching for someone like them. Wow. Okay. Okay, spirit. Let's get a little clarity. What Capricorn needs to do to get through their challenge? What do they need to do? What do they need to know? What do they need to carry with them going through this change, going through this renewal? What do they need to ask while they're soul searching? for their answers. Give us a final message, Spirit, for Capricorn. A final message for Capricorn, please. Change, definitely. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Understanding that change occurs, whether we like it or not sometimes. But it's always to move you in the right direction. And honesty, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Yes, Capricorn, I think you really need to take a hard look and you need to be honest with yourself about your situation. What exactly do you want out of life? What is leaving you in confusion and complacency? What is keeping you at a standstill? And also blame. I accept responsibility for any well-being. Excuse me. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's taking responsibility for anything that we've done in the past. Um, but once we take responsibility for what we've done in the past or what others have done to us, we need to lay it to rest because the past can't change. There's nothing you can do or say for any past experiences that's going to change any of those actions. All we can do is take responsibility for what happens and move, move on. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yeah, take time to laugh. Take time to laugh, Capricorn. Take time to, you know, find humor in whatever it is that, that you know, comes around you. You know, I always find that when I'm sad or when I'm going through something, if someone tells me a joke, even if it's a silly, corny joke that makes absolutely no sense, even if it brings just a small giggle, it kind of brings a spark 
back to me that kind of brightens my day. You know what I mean? So, yeah, find humor in your situation. And you also have worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. No, it doesn't. Worrying about a situation will never change your situation. Only you can make a decision to stay in the situation or put it behind you. Okay, Capricorn, that is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And as always, Capricorn, have a wonderful December. Many blessings to you. Love and light.